is, again, we can kind of go back to our limit laws, our limit properties to help us with this. So remember, our properties of limit says if I have limit as x approaches c of b times b times f of x, that's the same thing as b times um, of b times the limit as x approaches c of f of x. Right? Yes? So what I want you guys to um, understand here, and again, remember also another rule or another just idea, is if you have 1 half and you multiply by 1 half by 4 over 4, I'm going to get 4 eighths. Do you guys agree with me that 1 half is equal to 4 over 8? So as long as you multiply by the same number, you're OK, right? Now, the only rule that we have is that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x is equal to 1. Well, guess what? That rule works for x approaches sine of 2x over 2x. Limit as x approaches 0 sine of 3x over 3x. It works for all of them. It doesn't matter. And let's go and look at this graph. So let's go ahead and copy, or let's just put in 2 and 2. Do you guys see right now how it's still at 1? Right? Let's go and put in 5 and 5. If I change this to 5 over 5, it's still approaching 1. Right? So all I need is I need to, this to be 4x over 4x. Right? So I need my 4 to be in my denominator. So if I multiply by 4 over 4, Basically, now what I have is the limit as x approaches 0 of 4 sine of 4x over 4x. I can now group this together and kind of take out that 4. So if you multiply this on the outside, you can multiply on the inside. Right? You can multiply it to the inside. I want to group this together because what's the sine of 4x over 4x? As, or I'm sorry, what's the limit of a, as x approaches 0 of sine of 4x divided by 4x? That's now going to be equal to 1. So we basically have 4 times 1 equals 4. And if you guys were to evaluate this, let's just go back to this graph. Let's plug in. 4x over x. What does that graph approach at when x equals 0? 4. Right? So you can always use graphing technology, especially when you guys are doing your homework.